Zubara Fort is a historic fortress in Al Zubara, Qatar, built in the 18th century. It served as a defensive stronghold and watchtower to protect the pearl fishing and trading port. The fort features traditional Qatari architecture, with thick walls and towers. It has been restored and turned into a museum showcasing Qatar's maritime history and archaeological artifacts. Zubara Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular attraction for visitors interested in Qatar's history and culture. Located 40 kilometers east of Doha, at 40 meters deep, it is considered the largest and the deepest yet accessible cave in Qatar. It primarily consists of fibrous gypsum and sometimes it gives off a soft and mystical glow. To visit Mesphere Cave 4x4 is highly recommended. Although it is enclosed by the fence, the site is not ticketed and visitors can get in for free. Bottom of the cave can be reached in only 2 to 3 minutes. The cave temperatures keep on changing depending on the depth so make sure you dress well. Dukhan Beach is one of the most popular beaches in Qatar. Located 80 kilometers from Doha this beach attracts people not only for swimming but for playing sports mainly football, singing, dancing and other activities. Be aware that during the weekends and festivals it might be super crowded. Downside of the beach that there are no washrooms or changing rooms. <music> Kilometers away from Zubara Fort you will find installations called Shadows traveling on the Sea of the Day created by Oliver Eliasson. Oliver Eliasson is a Danish Icelandic artist known for his immersive installations that combine nature, light, and architecture. His works engage the viewer and often incorporate natural elements like water and air. Eliasson's installations challenge perception and reality, playing with illusions and reflections. This artwork consists of 20 round shelters placed in the desert. They might look randomly scattered, but they are actually arranged in a special pattern. The roofs of the shelters have mirrors on the inside that reflect the curved pipes holding them up. This makes it seem like the pipes are forming complete rings. When people stand under the shelters, they might feel a bit confused because they can see themselves and their surroundings reflected upside down in the roofs. Located near El Khor City, approximately an hour's drive from Doha, this island is renowned for its stunning natural landscapes, unique plant and animal species, making it a perfect destination for a family day trip, providing an unforgettable experience. The island's name originates from its role as the main center for the Kassite-controlled purple dye industry in the second millennium BC. This industry flourished due to the symbolic connection between purple and royalty. Today, visitors can enjoy activities like kayaking and hiking on the island, and camping is permitted for those seeking a more rustic experience. One of the notable attractions on the island is the mangrove forest found in shallow lagoons, where visitors can observe small fish, crabs, and various bird species. A prominent feature of this location is the wooden bridge that traverses the mangroves and water channels, leading to hills and the Purple Island Beach. Sea Line Beach is one of the most popular beaches in Qatar, located only 40 minutes drive from Doha, 
there are plenty of umbrellas and seats for people to sit and relax by the sea. Accessible toilets are also available. Additionally, there are special facilities like beach showers for the elderly and people with special needs. Sand dunes make this beach unique. Adventure lovers won't be disappointed. There are many activities like camel riding, jeep safari and dune bashing, quad biking. For romance lovers it's a great spot to watch the sunset. Located in the western part of Qatar, in the desert at Zekrit Peninsula, this installation is called East West West East created by Richard Serra. Richard Serra is an influential American artist known for his massive sculptures and installations. His work redefines traditional notions of sculpture by utilizing industrial materials like steel and exploring the relationship between the artwork, the viewer, and the surrounding space. The installation consists of four perfectly aligned steel plates. It spans over a kilometer of the Brook Nature Reserve area, every steel plate measures more than 14 meters in height and was specifically created for the location with the intention that it would rust and alter its color over time. The initial design envisioned the steel plates transitioning from gray to orange to brown. At present, the plates are gradually acquiring a deep amber shade. Our favorite beach in Qatar, crystal clear water gives you a feeling of being in a tropical destination. It is a photogenic place with a picturesque environment. On the beach, there are amenities like washrooms and sitting benches with shelter from the sun. Few kilometers away there's a few where at Kite Beach. With its consistent winds for approximately nine months of the year, shallow lagoon water, and soft sand, this beach offers the perfect environment and conditions for kite surfing. 